Hello, I'm going to do the Taurus Weekly Energy for the 17th to the 23rd. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. All right, we're going to pick some Angel Answer cards, and then we're going to pick some Tarot, and then close out with an Oracle. All right, we have Helpful People. We have Meditation Brings Answers. We have Be Assertive. And we have weight. I feel like there's sort of something that you're working on, something that's bothering you, something that you need some answers for, um, that you haven't been able to find those answers for. And it could be about reaching out to to someone to help you work through this. Maybe you've been keeping it to yourself. You've been trying to work on things by yourself. Um, it could be just finding that place where you can clear your energy. Um, <clears throat> it could be that, you know, if you do meditate, that meditation will bring the answers. But I also feel like that could represent getting out of that place where that energy is overwhelming you and going to like a neutral ground um, for example when I go to the barn I really feel like that gives me clarity it helps me to release negative energy it helps me just the drive to the barn helps me find answers to things and clarity on things that I've been thinking or worrying about so that could represent that and then not rushing into um, <clears throat> responding to a situation. It's about thinking about it before you respond um, because that could make things worse. But then once you find that clarity, once you find your answers, go ahead and, you know, work through it, speak with that person, do what it is you need to do to get um, your answers and your clarity on this situation. <clears throat> All right. So we have Queen of Wands. Could be a Queen of Wands because we have helpful people and the Queen of Wands came out. So it could be, it could be this person that helps you. Um... You know, if there is a fire sign that, you know, someone that you can trust, somebody that you can um, talk to. We have Six of Cups, and then we have the King of Swords. So, maybe this is an old time friend, a friend that you've been able to rely on, a really close friend that you have and that you can really, like when there's a situation like this person is this per is someone that you can trust, somebody that you can rely on because you've known this person for a really long time and, and whenever you have an issue, you go to that person and you say, hey, this is what's going on. You know, what's your thoughts on this? You know, you need to help me through this situation. We have meditation brings answers, and then we have the six of wands, which is the success and victory. And that's like what I was saying. It's to find a neutral area, find a neutral ground, do something that makes you happy. Do something that takes your mind off the situation that you're dealing with and just have fun. Just let go of those energies. Um, and... I feel like that's what's going to help this relationship. I feel like you may be having problems with your partner and I feel like maybe they said or they did something that really has bothered you and this is something that you need to think about before you respond to them and think about how you want to handle it. Be assertive, Ten of Pentacles, the Death card, and then the Nine of Pentacles. So 
releasing that energy, talking about it, talking about it with your friends, finding your answer, and then talking about it with your partner. I feel like this card represents reconnecting with your partner after you've worked through this. And then I feel like that's going to change your relationship because I almost feel like this other person doesn't realize, your partner doesn't realize how much they affected you, how much they bothered you, how much they hurt you. Um, and then we have wait, yeah, because this has been bothering you. And then moving forward slowly. And again, we have four of swords, which that also represents before you respond to your partner. Maybe this hasn't happened yet. Maybe they, or maybe this is something that's been building. Maybe this person has been <clears throat> doing things that is building up and that have been bothering you. And it, it's getting to that point where you're ready to explode. But before you explode, clear your energy. Maybe talk with your friend. Okay, this is what's going on. How am I going to handle it? What is your thoughts? And then finding that space where you can clear your energy, where you can sort through your thoughts, and then approach your partner. Then confront them, but know that your what it is that you want to discuss and how you want to approach it. And how you want to deal with it. And I feel like that's going to um, change your relationship. It's going to let that person know that they're doing things that bother you. That's going to open up those communication lines between the two of you. Because maybe your partner was doing those things because you were doing things that affected your partner. And they weren't telling you that you were doing things that bother them. So I feel like it's a communication thing between the two of you, that the two of you need to communicate okay, clear. Um, and I feel like this situation is really going to open that up for the both of you to see what's going on between the two of you, what's lacking between the two of you and your relationship, and what the two of you have to work on in this relationship. Um, but it's about thinking before you act. All right. Um, what do I want to close out with? Let's close out with romance. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, but I feel like the attraction will become stronger between the two of you because it's almost like the two of you are letting down your walls and you're letting down your guard and you're both finding that more attractive between the two of you because you're like feeling closer <clears throat> once you get through this situation, like you're going to feel closer um, and... This card here, I feel like it's a it's it's reconnecting the two of you. I feel like that is the card that stands out. It's working on this relationship. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.